Today we're going to be beginning our chapter on integers. We're going to be adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing with integers. This is an introduction lesson to just get familiar to get familiar with some terms that we're going to be using. So we're going to be looking at integers and absolute value. A set of integers, what does that include? It includes zero and all the whole numbers greater than zero and their opposites. So what does that look like? You can look at a number line of integers here on the screen. This is a vertical number line like you might see on a, on a grid where we have the x-axis and the y-axis. The y-axis is just an integer number line. Uh, notice that as you go up, the numbers get larger, and as you go down, the numbers get smaller. So the value of each integer is greater as you move upward on the line. You can also visualize integers on a horizontal number line, such as this one. And the value of each integer is going to increase as you move right on the line. So when you compare them, and you have two negatives. This is negative 9 and negative 7. If we were to find them on our number line down here, here is negative 9, here is negative 7. Remember that as you move right, they become greater. So negative 7 is actually the greatest. So when the numbers are negative, what looks greatest is actually the smallest. So negative 9 is less than negative 7, the opposite of the, if they were positive integers. Now it's easy when you have a whole a positive integer and a negative integer. Obviously, the positive integer is going to be greater than the negative one. Again, down at the bottom, we have two negative integers. We have negative 4 and negative 6. Whichever one is farthest to the right is the greater one. So negative 4 is greater than negative 6. Here are some real world situations. And we're just going to write an integer that represents each situation. If we say that the temperature is 23 degrees below zero, then we are saying it is a negative 23. 11 inches more than normal, that would be a positive 11. A deposit of $15. Deposit is when you put money into a banking account, so that is a positive 15. Notice when we have positive integers that we do not actually write the positive sign in front of them. It's just understood to be positive. A loss of eight yards on a football field would be a negative eight. An elevator descending is going down. 18 floors, and since it's going down, that is a negative 18. And if you know anything about golf, five strokes above par would be a score of a positive five. If we were to put these integers in order from least to greatest, looking only at the purple cards, Pausing a moment so that you can look at them. Which one, num which number is the least? The least would be negative eight. Next would be negative five, negative two, and then zero and five. Look at the yellow cards and see if you can guess which one would be the least number. That would be negative 59. The next one would be negative 35 negative 28, positive 20, and 62. Now we're going to look at the absolute value. Absolute value are the signs that go straight, a pair of lines that go straight up and down like this, and inside you will have, you might have a negative 3, 
you might have a seven, you're going to have some number inside that, and we call that the absolute value sign. The absolute value of an integer is determined by its distance from zero. You're just asking yourself, how far is that number from zero? An integer and its opposite have the same absolute value. For example, the absolute value of negative 7. How far is negative 7 from 0? It is 7 from 0. What is the absolute value of a positive 7? Well, it is also 7 from 0. So opposites actually have the same absolute value, since you're only asking what is the distance from 0. It is also important that we know how to read um, integers and absolute value equations correctly. So we're going to talk about how to read this, and then we're going to talk about what it means. In this scenario right here, it actually reads, this right here says the opposite, and this says negative 5, so it reads the opposite of negative 5. That's the way it reads, but what does it mean? Well, what is the opposite of a negative 5? The opposite of a negative 5 is a positive 5. The next one, because the negative sign is not inside the parentheses, but it's outside the parentheses, this one reads the opposite of 5. Well, what is the opposite of 5? It is a negative 5. So it reads the opposite of 5, and it means a negative 5. Here's our absolute value sign. They look like little goalposts. Okay, so what, how does this read? When you see the absolute value signs, you read it as the absolute value of 5. What does that mean? You're asking yourself, how far is 5 from 0? Which, of course, is 5. In this next scenario, notice that this sign is outside of the absolute value sign. So we read this as the opposite of the absolute value of 5. Absolute value signs work like parentheses. You have to evaluate this first before you take the opposite of it. So what is the absolute value of 5? Well, that is 5. And what is the opposite of that? A negative 5. So the opposite of the absolute value of 5 is a negative 5. This time, the sign is inside the absolute value sign. So this one reads the absolute value of negative 5. So you ask yourself, how far is negative 5 from 0? And that would be a positive 5. We have a sign outside the absolute value sign. That means the opposite of. So this reads the opposite of the absolute value of negative 5. What does it mean? First, you take the absolute value of negative 5. You're asking yourself, how far is negative 5 from 0? That is 5. And then we want the opposite of that, which is a negative 5. So the opposite of the absolute value of negative 5 means negative 5. So to evaluate this, first let's see if we can read it correctly. It reads the absolute value of negative 5 plus the absolute value of 12 equals. First we want to evaluate the absolute value of both numbers. What is the absolute value of negative 5? How far is negative 5 from 0? 5. What is the absolute value of 12? 12. Notice the absolute value is always going to be the positive of the number. And of course, 5 plus 12 is 17. In the next scenario, we have 7 minus the absolute value of negative 3. Absolute value symbols work like parentheses. You have to evaluate this first. So we have 7 minus what is the absolute value of negative 3. How far is that from 0? 3. So our answer is 4. And the last one, the absolute value of negative 8 
minus the absolute value of negative 5. First, we evaluate the absolute value of both of these numbers. The absolute value of negative 8 would be 8. Then we subtract the absolute value of negative 5, which is 5, and our answer is 3. That concludes an introduction to integers and the absolute value.